Hello and welcome back once again to Infinite Jeff, the project where I, Jeff, read the book Infinite Jest to you one page at a time, one day at a time. Put it up on the internet. What is Infinite Jeff? Where Jest? It's a book by David Foster Wallace, a post-man out in masterpiece. It's published in 1996, and I'm reading it here because it's been a hard book to read. A lot of stuff going on. Page 270. Here we go. Graduation, an air of something other than failure about Shat's not caring enough. Something you can't quite define, the way you can't quite remember a word that you know you know inside. Hal can't quite feel the contempt for Teddy Shat's competitive slide that would be a pretty much natural contempt in one who cared so dreadfully secretly much. And so the two of them tend to settle for not talking about it. Just as Shat cheerfully, wordlessly drives the tow truck on occasions, when the rest of the crew are so incapacitated, they'd have to hold one eye closed even to see an undoubled road, and consents without protest to pay retail for clean quarterly urine, and doesn't say a a word about Hal's devolution from occasional tourist to subterranean compulsive, substance-wise, with his pump room visits and visine, even though Shat deep down believes that the substance compulsion's strange apparent contribution to Hal's erumpent, erumpent, uh, gotta look that up, erumpent, bursting forth or through a surface, so like the Kool Aid Man. Or maybe like 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 Wolverine's claws erumped through the skin in his hand, I guess. Erumpent. R erumpent. Bursting forth. I guess it's an adjective. Anyway, so I, I, that's what I'm thinking. So, to hell's erumpent explosion up the rankings has got to be a temporary thing. That there's like a psychic credit card bill for Hal in the mail, somewhere, coming, and is sad for him in advance about whatever's surely got to give, eventually. Though it won't be the boards. Hal will murder his boards, and Shat may well be among those jockeying to sit near him, he'd be the first to admit. On two, Hal now kicks a second serve to the ad court with so much left-handed top on it that it almost kicks up over Port Washington's number two's guy's head. It clearly... It's clearly carnage up there on show courts one and two. Dr. Tavis will be irrepre- irrepressible. The gallery is barely even applauding Wayne and Incondenza anymore. At a certain point, it becomes like Romans apply- applauding lions. All the coaches and staff and PWTA parents and civilians in the overhead gallery wear tennis outfits, the white high socks, and tucked in shirts of people who do not really play. Shat and his man play. All right, we got a uh, section break. And it, it doesn't tell us uh, what the new year is, so that's interesting. Both Pat Montesian and Gately's AA sponsor like to remind Gately how this new resident, Joffrey Day, or Jeffrey, I guess, spelled wrong, Geoffrey, <laughs> Jeffrey Day could end up being an invaluable teacher of patience and tolerance to him, Gately, at Ennett, as Ennett House staff. So then at 46 years of age, I came here to learn to live by cliches, is what Day says to Charlotte Treat right after Randy Lenz asked what time it was, again, at 8.25, to turn my will and life over to the care of cliches, one day at a time. Easy does it. First things first. Courage is fear that has said its prayers. Ask for help. Thy will not mine be done. It works if you work it. Grow or go. Keep coming back. Poor old Charlotte Treat, needle pointing brim primly beside him on the old vinyl couch that just came to got from Goodwill, purses her lips. You need to ask for some gratitude. Oh no, but the point is I've already been fortunate enough to receive. And that's the end of the uh, page 270. I said re- receive was like italicized. So it'll be like, to receive. That's why you got to read it like that. That's how reading, that's good reading go. Yes. <laughs> this is me beating on the microphone. Doesn't sound like anything to me, but I bet it's really annoying for you. All right, good night.